Whoa. I can see myself. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna make this short and sweet. We got Grace back here with me. She's never woken up this early and fish with me, so it's pretty exciting. Um, we are at a lake that I fished before and um, I'm gonna use only Catchco products today. Today's video is sponsored by Catchco. They are coming out with a new bait very soon and they sent me the bait to test out and kind of show off to you guys before it's released. So we're gonna be fishing with a pre-release bait today and I'm really excited to kind of give it a dangle and see see what it's capable of. Um, this place is usually pretty good. It takes a while to pick up sometimes and I've never fished it this time of year before. But every single time I've ever came here, there's no lily pads, but look what we have, lily pads. This whole back corner is just lily pads. Um, and I didn't bring my topwater rod because I, I, I snapped I snapped my topwater rod. So um, yeah, uh, we're just gonna make do it with what we have this morning and uh, see what we can do with some Ketchco products at this lake. I'm pretty excited. I know the Ned rig works really well here. We're gonna do some Texas rig. I don't know. Stick around, stay tuned, enjoy today's episode. And um, yeah, let's go crank some fish. Any, any words, Grace? Um, good morning. I'm cold. Good morning, I'm cold. Okay, I'm gonna switch you guys to the chess cam. All right, so if you guys saw my recent video, I was out in my kayak and I was slaying it on this bait right here. So this is a Carl Amazing Bait. It is a product by Catchco as well. They make Carl's Amazing Baits productos. So I'm gonna start off with this and then a topwater popper as well. I'm just gonna kind of switch back and forth. Oh, if I get hit on this popper, I'm gonna be so excited. Oh, oh, something's nipping on it. What the heck? Like, there's no doubt in my mind that had to have been like a bluegill or there's a lot of crappie in here. Did you hear that? What the hell? Oh, oh. The whole thing came off. Yeah, he just broke me off. Do you see how big that was? What? Yeah. Did you did 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 you did you see how big it was, Sora? Where the fish was. I saw him and everything. Did you saw him too, right? Yeah. Damn it. Damn it, you just took that out of the box. I'm telling you, dude, I don't know what it is, but when you take these and you hop them through the lily pads, I got like seven fish on it the other day. I don't know. So I decided to try it today, and clearly it works. <sighs> well, I didn't get broken off that time. How did my drag slip? Okay, so I've been getting sweared by fish all morning, like you guys saw, broke off and whatnot. So I decided now is a good opportunity to whip out this new bait. It is called the Yodo Worm. This is a 10,000 fish product, which Ketchco obviously makes. And uh, this is kind of what it looks like. It is a green pumpkin. And on the back, it says you can really Texas rig it, shaky head rig it, drop shot rig it, bladed jig or spinner bait. So it can be a trailer. It can be used as is on a Texas rig. It can be used in so many different ways. I'm gonna start off with a Texas rig on it today, but this is a very cool looking bait. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. The Yoda Worm Irresistible Tickle Tail. It is 4.75 inches. That's sick. Okay, so I'm pretty excited about this. Let's go tie this one on real quick and see if we can crank some fish on this bait. And uh, it's not released yet, okay? I'm gonna leave a link down below if you guys wanna go check out Catchco products while we wait patiently for this to be released. But as uh, as of now, it's not. So if you guys wanna go check out other Catchco products, I'll have it linked down below. But for now, let's go try to catch some fish on this thing. Okay, so then cast right back in there. Perfect cast. Yeah, let that sink. Oh, it is a bass. Oh my god. Oh it's my, my PB. It's your PB. It's okay. It's okay. Bring him here. It's your PB. It's your PB. It's your PB. Oh my god, it's a giant. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I know. No, that's the biggest dang bass I ever caught. <laughs> I really thought that was a pickerel that was biting you. Oh my god. Grace just caught her PB. Grace, you just got your PB. Hell yeah, you what do. What do you think, two? You want me to put a scale? Put it on the scale? 
Okay. Two pounds, six ounces. Two pounds, six ounces. Where's my PB? Oh! Grace just caught her PB. How do you feel? Good. Um, It may only be two pounds and six ounces, but that's just the start. That Let's is... try and get another PB. Her biggest PB used to be in Florida. Oh! Ow. Nice it's release. Fine. <laughs> nice release. Nice release. Okay, well, we got a good fish in the boat. Uh, that Like, really good fish. She caught that in the wacky rig, so... Uh, never fails. Never fails. Let's keep fishing. There we go. Yes! Oh my god! That's uh, one big bass! <laughs> one big bass on that new bait by Ketchco. Oh my god, yes! Look at that. Sorry the GoPro angle is a little messed up. You guys probably, that was probably the worst angle for you guys. I'm so sorry. Anyways, new bait, caught a fish. <laughs> Let's go! Alright, matey, here we go. Just took a couple pictures. Time to release this fish. First decent bass for me. We're doing good. Doing good. This bait is so freaking sick. I gotta say. Always support companies that want to make new baits. That's why I love Ketchos because they're always trying to do the next big thing or make the next big bait. They don't just make one bait and they're like, all right, cool. That was good. Like a lot of companies do. If that makes sense. I'm on. You're on? Oh, 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 Go back, go back, back the boat up. That was huge, Grace. That was like a four pounder. Back the boat up. Back the boat up. Dude, that was literally a four pounder. All right, let's stay right here and just cast. I got him right on that log. Right on that log? Yeah, like, uh, I literally cast him right on it. Oh my God. Hold on, don't cast. I'm gonna make a run across the lake. There's a spot that I really think is going to be money right now. I don't know why, but I just feel it. So. Got one. Lodgy. What were you saying? Water bikes? Yeah, they're like water bikes. <laughs> yes! Lodgy. We got a Lodgy on the Sakoshi. There we go. A little Sakoshi bug action going on this morning. Figured it would be uh, time to whip her out right now. Wow. I mean, he's small, but look at his belly, you know? It's impressive. See you, bud. Dude. Is this a joke? He did that? Uh-huh. What? The heck? I don't know. I mean, this is one of my older Neds. But Jesus, man. The heck? Oh, there we go. Yeah. That doesn't feel like a bass. Unless it is a bass. That was like a five pounder. That was huge. That was huge. I'm so frustrated. I don't think, I never get frustrated when I'm fishing and I'm frustrated. All right, everybody. Hopefully today's video wasn't too painful to watch even though we lost a bunch of fish and I lost possibly the biggest fish of the year for me. Um, my biggest fish of the year right now is like at five pounds exactly. And I have a feeling that fish was probably a little bit over but it happens. Uh, we ended up catching a fish on that new bait that Ketchco is going to release really soon if I can find the package. Sick. Thanks, Grace. You're this right here, definitely look forward to this coming out and hitting the market. But in the meantime, go pick up some Sakoshi bugs and all the other stuff um, that Ketchco makes because they make some pretty great products, in my opinion. Um, Anyway, so I know I haven't been out in my boat in a while, so I figured since we are doing pretty bad at the lake and we're about to leave, now's a good time to maybe update you guys. So I got a new trolling motor. This is the Motor Guide X3, 70 pounds. 
and uh, 70 pound thrust, 24 volt. And then um, I already talked about this a little bit. So we got a new Garmin unit, which is pretty sick. I have side view and um, I've never had anything like that before in a crazy different pedal for uh, the trolling motor than my last one. My last one was a Minn Kota and I liked the Minn Kota, but it was so loud and it just, it was only 40 pound thrust and it didn't really do much because the wind in New England is so brutal, which you guys already know, but it's 40 pound thrust trolling motor. It doesn't do much when uh, the wind is really bad. So we took a couple days, we installed this and then we had to figure out the battery situation. This is my battery box. We got uh, fish finder batteries and then we had to do a lot of electrical work in order to get these two batteries in series so that we could make it possible to put that trolling motor there. So that's why I've been, you know, kind of MIA when it comes to fishing out on the boat. But hopefully that clears things up for you guys. I got the new trolling motor. Uh, the Garmin unit's looking really good. Still don't have a fish finder for up front on my boat because my hummingbird broke. But nonetheless, we got some upgrades on the boat and it's looking pretty good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it wasn't anything too crazy, but we really tried. We woke up early and uh, sometimes it just it happens. But uh, thank you guys so much for viewing today's episode. Thank you for all the support. I love you guys and I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you.